Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Caleb the Salty, and today we're gonna go over how to make some bait pens. Um, this way, I found I think is the most cheapest way to do it, and these pens are gonna last the longest. Uh, so what I'm using is these water jugs. The whole build, um, what it cost me is 20 bucks. So we're running each pen. The cost was 20 bucks. I picked up. Uh, these bins for 15 each and then maybe like with the paint it's running like 20 each are uh, when you averaged it so pretty much these are a 55 gallon pen uh, Ben we're gonna drill holes through it um, I have I have a noodles that we're gonna use some rope pipe brown spray paint uh, so if you don't stay at a dock, I'm gonna have to hide these pens up in the mangroves. Um, so up in there, the water is always brown, it's super dark, brackish water. So I have this color paint. It's just gonna help keep it stealthy when I um, stash it up in the mangroves, and uh, no one sees them. I mean, the downfall is if you do get those nicer pens, like the ones that are built with the uh, chicken wire that's coated. It's eventually going to rust out. These are made of plastic. They're not going to rust out. As far as mullet, I heard people keeping these up like seriously like three months. Um, they kept mullet in here. And pilchards. I would say a week. The ones you first put in, like 10% are going to die like right away. Um, it all depends. There's a lot of factors. You know, how far up in the river are there, how much current, um, stuff like that. So the plan is with this bend there's a little rivet right here so here down i'm not gonna drill just in case you know i pull it out of the water the bait will swim and i'm gonna pretty much drill from here you know all the way up to about here and as many holes as possible um the reason i got two is for different baits this one's gonna be for mullet and this one's gonna be for Let's say I have any smaller pinfish, pilchards, um, goggle eyes if I ever get them down here. I'll keep them in this pen. But I'm going to use the same type of hole. I mean, if you were just going to keep mullet, you could probably throw a bigger hole in it. But I'm just going to use the same. Um, just so in case I can switch it back between baits. Alright guys. Um, I got the GoPro on to give you a first person view of how we're gonna build this thing. I was gonna thinking about using the 7 16 or excuse me, 1 16 drill bit, but it's looking too small. Um, I just think it's gonna be too, like, it's just too small. I just wanted something small enough so like, you know, a glass minnow can't swim through it. Probably the smallest bait I'd ever keep alive in there. But what I'm gonna be using is this bit. I believe it's a 7 16s. Um, but don't recall me if I'm wrong, but it's about this size. But uh, yeah, let's get to building it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright guys, now I'm gonna do the lid. It's just gonna be simple lid with some zip ties. Um, let's see how I wanna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm probably gonna do multiple holes just so uh, the lid will be a little more sturdy. So I'll probably do four. problem I've been having with this drill bit. I do a hole. And it's safe. should be plenty strong enough and it's good it's being it's plastic so it's gonna last in the salt water all right perfect Alright, so this is going to be the handle for the lid. Um, you guys be creative. I mean, do whatever floats your boat. But I'm just doing something cheap and simple. I mean, the whole goal for this thing is not to be spending a lot of money and just make it quick and easy. Alright, so I got the zip tied down like that. So, all it's going to be is when I want to lift it got this little thing right here
Okay. So this is a old GoPro Hero, like the handheld straps. So it's a little bungee. So I, I don't need it. Um, it's for the old heroes, so the new ones don't fit it. So I'm gonna use this for the little project. All right, perfect. So I got this right here. Um, this is gonna be the handle, and then I'm gonna run a bolt down here, and it's gonna go like that. And that's gonna hold the lid down, but pretty much it's gonna go like this. And then this is gonna go on here like that. That's the theory. It's gonna hold it, pull up on the, on the bait pin, get it, lift the lid. So pretty much that's simple. than this so I'm just gonna rig it like this so using the supplies you got I mean these bins you can definitely get them for free and you could possibly do this do these pens for free if you can get a hold of the supplies or if you got it but Alright guys, so I'm popping the zip tie right here. All right, so these are gonna be the handles. This is from a old, uh, these are boat pipes, like the trailer guides for a boat trailer. So we're gonna use these. Um, thinking the handling needs to be about here. Get these cuts. All right, let's give it a go. All right, boom, got the two handles. So boom, that's one handle. Boom. This is it right here. Um, what I did was Sand at the inside, did the hole. I put these two pull noodles around. I just cut it in the center. You saw me zip tie it. I had these ropes with the PVC pipes for the handle. This is the lid right here. So 
um, all the way down at the bottom, that's going to hold like around 15 gallons. I'm all the way at the bottom. This whole tank's going to be 60 gallons. Um, so this is the lid right here. Right here's the handle if I want to lift it. And then I run it down here. Run this down here. And then this is going to hold the lid shut. The bait's not going to really be able to swim out too bad. I mean, I did make this hole a little big here. Um, but with these noodles, the water is going to be like around here. So I shouldn't have too much issues. But yeah, I mean, you can pretty much do these for free if you can find them. I think the easiest way to make these pens is if you can get them with the plastic barrels like this. Uh, but the, the downfall is if you can't get them used, uh, it's going to be expensive. They're very expensive new. But if you check Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, I'm sure you can even get them for free. Look around, it's definitely going to be worth it to get these. I mean, they're super, super durable. They're going to last for years. I mean, it's plastic, so nothing's really going to rust out. Probably the first thing to rust out is that bolt I put in. But I use zip ties and pretty much I want to keep it all plastic so it doesn't rust out. But uh, please like and subscribe if you guys like the content. And I'll keep posting videos, but uh, stay tuned. Keep those lines tight. Have a good one.